Okay, so apart from the fact we might have just given the bowler a hat trick, um, it's going pretty well. Oh my god. I am incredibly worried about this. And for good reason. The cricket bat that I'm holding in that clip is old. And I don't mean old as in that bat was left in the clubhouse for a few seasons. That bat was made in 1921, making it 102 years old. And as that previous clip was recorded in the future, I'm yet to even lay my eyes on this thing. But luckily the parcel is right here. Let's get it open. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Ah, oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure why I did that. Um, it looks old. Yeah, that was my, uh, my in-depth analysis for this one. I'll let you guys take a look yourselves. So I'll walk you through the bat starting at the bottom. Now at the bottom you can see that it's seen a little bit of wear and tear, but to be honest, my bat looks worse and my bat's like three years old. I'm pretty impressed with that. Moving upwards, you can see that they've tried to make a little repair here, and they've actually used a sort of string similar to what you would use in a handle, which I think is quite good, because modern day you use tape, um, this might be because this isn't legal anymore. This might affect how it plays, but that's pretty cool. Moving upwards, we get to sort of around the sweet spot of the bat here, um, and you can tell that there's a little bit of damage, which to be honest is not too alarming, as it shows that this bat was actually used by a decent player. A lot of the sort of uh, where you can tell there's been an impact happens around the center here. But actually, considering it is older than me, and 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 me put together. It's in pretty good condition. Moving upwards further along the bat, you end up at these engravings, which are vague. It says the Canon, Gun and More, which um, are still an established brand now. More engravings say that it's Treble Spring. Um, I assume that that was some revolutionary new technology back in the day. That is the front face. Moving on to the back face, uh, it just says the Canon uh, and specifically selected. And moving up towards the top of the bat, we get to the dilemma that I have now, as it has not come grip. This is quite a big problem because I'm planning to use it in about three hours. Uh, and if I don't have a grip in the house, this could prove to be quite an issue. We've got the grip on. The power of cinematography has made about 30 minutes seem like about five seconds. One last little thing in this mini review of this beautiful piece of wood is the pickup. And the pickup, it feels like a pickup. I'm not really an expert. It feels nice. It feels light. It feels like I could really hit some balls with this thing. And I'm super excited to go do that right now. I'm also a little bit worried. I mean, to be completely honest, I am terrified at the idea of breaking a 102-year-old piece of just history for cricket. I don't want to break it first ball. For the time being, just to get a feel of things, I'm going to start us off with the neon blade just so we can see how it should be hit and then compare it to 102-year-old technology um, to see how that's different. <laughs> Oh, that was lovely. Fourth ball and I've nearly killed him. Okay, I think that'll do with this. You get the point. It's time for the moment that I've been somewhat dreading. Um, the 102 year old cricket bat. Well, here we go. Oh, okay. My heart was absolutely pounding for that first ball and it's held up. Oh, I'm liking this. That's out. Snicked off. Okay, so apart from the fact we might have just given the bowler a hat trick, um, it's going pretty well. Oh my god. Okay, well, so I didn't see that initially, but it started to almost leave a bruise where it gets hit. I'm gonna need to keep an eye on that. That's not looking too good. Ooh. But here's the danger about having you guys at second slip. I snick off quite a bit. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's right off the middle. Oh. Oh, okay, that's launched. I don't know how far that's gone in real life, but that felt like it's gone out of the park. Oh, I think he's either trying to break me or the camera. Uh, I haven't quite figured out which one yet. Oh, okay. Well, that is well placed through towards fine leg. The good thing about this bat is it really reminds you when you edge it, because it leaves this nice big sort of stain on the edge. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, okay, that felt good. Sometimes it just pings out of this middle. I suppose it's had so much knocking in over the years. I run. 
Okay, you know what? We've been messing around around 65 miles an hour now, but I think it's time to turn this into a little bit of a challenge. We're gonna go plus one mile an hour for every year this bat's been around. That's a joke, of course, because otherwise either this would break or I would break. But how about we do a little bit of plus one mile an hour up until we get to some kind of reasonable speed and then we'll call it a day. Starting at 60, let's get going. If you are new to the channel and don't know the rules, then they're quite simple. If I hit the ball, we go up one mile an hour. If I miss the ball, we go down one mile an hour. And if I leave it, we stay the same. Not been very confident. Uh, but we are now at 65. Okay, so before we get to some ridiculous speeds, let me make a deal with you guys. Similar to when I made my own bat, I'm willing to play a real match with this bat if you guys can get this video to 5,000 likes. Last time I made a deal like this, it resulted in one of the most painful innings of my life. But to be honest, I have a good feeling that this bat will change that trend. So with that being said, scroll down, hit like, and let's get back to the action. That is almost certainly out. Up to 66. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Except I did make the rules. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. 70, there we are. This is getting a little bit terrifying because the bat isn't exactly my size, so I'm always a little bit slow or a little bit late on everything. And I am a bit worried that now we're getting up to some reasonable speeds. I'm just gonna injure myself, but look, it's all for content. So if you are new around here, do be sure to subscribe and hit like as well, thank you. Okay, we're at 70 now. Um, feeling fairly confident, that's a lie, I'm not. Uh, I'm very worried that this bat will just break as discussed earlier, it hasn't done so far. And I'm very impressed and proud of this piece of wood for doing that. Oh, oh, nearly rolls onto the stump. Oh, that's nice. Up to 73. God, this man. I think it's only fair to say we're going to stop at 80. We're at 75 now. 80 seems like, to be honest, too fast. I thought this was going to be a nice, peaceful recording. I didn't even bother putting thigh pads on. Um, but let's go up to 80. 78 miles an hour. Big thank you to Serious Cricket, of course, for letting us use their wonderful facilities. Oh. Things I do for content. Okay, I'm a bit terrified of it now. Well played, well played. Definitely deliberately snicked just through slips for four. 79. We're one mile an hour away, and then I can sort of just take it easy. Does it in style. Yeah. So in the end, the bat performed and held up very nicely, which is actually very surprising, as this could quite possibly be the first time it's been used in literal decades. I look forward to the next time the oldest cricket bat features on the channel, but until then, it's going to lie next to the Wobova cricket bat, the world's cheapest cricket bat, and my homemade cricket bat. And I think that's quite a beautiful sight. Wave. My life been looking gorgeous Take one day at a time I pray I never have to force it Got bad women for me Tell they man he need to force it 